Duke assistance. Two shots fired. One oh six eight thorn in position over. Come on. Put the gun down. Get down! Get down! Look away! Put your left arm behind your back! Cross your legs! Cross your legs! I've got fine, Joshua. We don't know what's going on out there. No. And he might be in the thick of it. And so will you be if you set foot outside that door. I'm past caring about me. Well, I'm not. Claire's with him. She won't let any harm come to him. That's not how it works, Dad. The noise come from next door. Joshua's probably streets away. I want to see it with my own eyes. I'll believe it. You're stopping here! Oi! Tell us what's going on. Stand behind the barrier, please. Please, I've got to get him home. Where's home? No way. Sorry. Look, look, if the police says stay, I'd stay here. His dad will be worrying. They're saying it sounded like gunfire. Oh, no, that can't be right. Look, we heard it, Shelley. Two shocks. You animal! If you hurt my daughter! It's all right. If you hurt my daughter, I'll be asked, but I'll kill you! Witnesses or no witnesses! There's two casualties. Need to go in. Oh, no, one of them's your no. brother! He's well gone! Leg deep! Oh, it, you. Watch your backs! You let him go! We'll find him. Yeah, for sure you will. Mum! Wait a minute! All right, love, it looks worse than it is. But it's all you're bleeding. There's no pain. Is that good or bad? I feel like when I get to hospital, see to Kate. Yeah. Kate. Please. She's not shot, she collapsed. You're diabetic, we've only known a couple of weeks, Kate. Kate, can you hear me, love? Mum. Oh, did you forget to take your insulin? Kate, it's important. No one will let me back. Oh, it's all right, sweetheart, you're in good hands now. We've radio for another ambulance. You're gonna need one if I get my hands on that missing brother before you. What brother? We had this covered. Yeah. But for your husband there, storming in like Arnie, could have sorted this without a shot being fired. Here's what the police said. They're both alive. You won't come in anything. What's going on here? The sirens. Oh, you better ask Kevin. Well, two fellas broke into Angela and Thomas. They've shot me down now, Katie! What, 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 we don't why? know that for sure. Well, why are you making me wait out here, then? Because... Because it's the paramedics want to see your dad and Katie. It's better if we're out here. <laughs> With one of them lunatics on the loose. With a gun for all I know. Is this right? They won't be on the loose for long. They'll catch him. Look, shall I... Look, come on, why don't we go inside? My mum? Yeah, well, you can be by the window. You won't miss a love. Come on. Why would anyone want to take a shot at Craig or, or anyone in the family, for that matter? Don't disturb her. Well, I should have woken her up in the first place. I'm just thinking about myself as usual. It's our last day together. Besides, she would have heard the gunshot. She would have seen the police. Don't you think it's better she didn't? Sarah, what the hell's been going on? Are you okay? Dad! Okay! Yeah, I'm alright, Paul. Well, what about Katie? She missed her injection in the hospital. I want to check her out. Well, can I come? You might be better here. We'll look after him. No, I want him with me. Come on, brave lad. I know what you're thinking, that lightning doesn't strike twice. I'm not blaming you for being worried. I'm worried. You thought we'd have had our fair share of bad luck? Yes, I do. Nothing can go wrong after Max. If there's any justice in this justice world... Justice in the world? Well, there ain't. Ashley. I've just seen Tom and Elson being willed out alive. Don't say you'd rather you were dead. I'd rather nobody were dead. Then be glad it's Tom and Elson in that ambulance and not hey, Joshua. Who's here? Who's Joshua? What do you think you're playing at? I'm sorry. He could have been killed. We were nowhere near the trouble. Yeah, well, how are we supposed to know that? Hey! First thing I knew was when we turned the corner and saw the ambulance. We've been it's sick. The police wouldn't let me pass. Well, you've got a phone, haven't you? He's back safe and sound. That's what counts. He didn't know there was anything wrong. I made sure of that. There, ah. uh, there. No harm done. Shall uh, I get his bath ready? No. I'll do it. No, you get off and meet your boyfriend, love. Uh, Same time in the morning? Uh, oh, yes. No. This isn't going to work. Uh, what isn't? It's leaving Joshua with a stranger. Uh, She's not a stranger. It's as good as. He's already lost one pen. It should be with the other one. 
I'm sorry, Claire. I'm going to have to let you go. Not been much use, have I? The hair and the jacket's the only thing I can remember. I nearly have ditched a jacket by now. Well, not necessarily. We're hoping he's gone back to Sheffield. The uh, family are well known to police over there. If I'd known there was a problem, I'd never have pointed the house out. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. So, are you, you going to tell me what's going on? I'm not sure I can. Well, the place is swarming with police. I doubt the secret's very secret anymore. The Nelsons were sent here on a witness protection scheme. The real name's Harris, which is why there was all that trouble. What, over the wallet? Yeah. Well, what did they do? They didn't do anything, Sal. Angela gave evidence against this bloke who stabbed a fella to death in a pub. The night he got sent down, the brothers torched Tommy and Angela's house. And those were the fellas that came to our door? They was the brothers, yeah. Look, it's no good beating yourself up over it, Sal. You didn't know anything about it. Beat myself up? Those men were murderers. They were carrying a gun. Yeah, and luckily they were stopped. Yeah, one of them. And luckily when Rosie answered the door, she didn't say to Tommy's mates, come in, sit down, have a cup of tea and a chat while you wait for them. Well, she wouldn't do that, would well, she? she might have done. I might. I might have got chatting to them. Asked them too many awkward questions. They might have turned the gun on me. So, or it's... worse, on Rosie and Sophie. It's all ifs and buts. <laughs> Pretty big ifs. Why the hell didn't you tell me? Because I promised Tommy. What, a bloke you've known for five minutes? Yeah, I promised him I wouldn't tell a single soul. Yeah, but I'm your wife. It makes no odds. Don't you trust me? It's not a matter of trust. Oh? It's a matter of risk, Sal. And I wasn't risking our family's lives. Wrong. It was my life and our children's lives. We could have been stood talking to the Nelsons in the crossfire of a gun. Stop exaggerating. And there's a brother out there who knows we called the police who might have just seen an officer in uniform leaving our house. Do you feel easy knowing that, Kevin? Because I don't. It is odd at first. They warned us about it at college. The parents cry more than the kids sometimes. Maybe they do. But I don't know the other parents. Anyone will tell you. But then they get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. I had to fight for him. You can't forget that. That's between thee and me. Well, now suddenly I'm shoving him under my feet. I will explain that to him when he's older. You and me will have a little chat. Sort this out. There's nothing to sort out. I'm sorry for messing you around, Claire. Maybe if you were older, if you were three or four. But he's too young to be farmed out. He needs to be with me. Are you sure? I am. Then we need to pay the last till the end of the week. No. Just for today. It's in tin. He needs a bath. And well, that's your job, then. I'll take him up. Bye, Joshua. Well, thanks, Claire. I'm sorry, I really am. It's too much. Check it, you've been inconvenienced. What did I do? No, it's not that. I know I'm Ashley wrong, but... would never have offered you the job if he didn't rate you. He's just not ready, that's all. He's had a rough year. All this talk about what Joshua needs, it's what Ashley needs. And Ashley needs his son. What's keeping you? I'm really just... sorry, Sal, but we rushed off our feet. Stayed at home, shouldn't you? What, on me arm? I think so. Oh, come on, Sal. It's a good job the girls are on a sleepover. That's all I can say. Well, what about tomorrow? When you get back from Lisa's? What are you going to do then? I'm going to watch him in back. Yeah, well, that's what Tommy's had to do for the last six months. So try on a bit more sympathy. Yes, Kev. Uh, white wine, please, and a pint lager. Oh, great. Barrel needs to change in. The stag's off. Right, you can either have a way or a Newton and Ridley's. <sighs> Newton and Ridley's fine. Because it all makes sense now. Why he wouldn't come forward that time I were mugged. Why he couldn't face the identity parade. And we slated them for it. Yes. Oh, I feel terrible now. Well, I don't know why. He's a decent, law-abiding citizen. Look, who were it that brought guns to the neighbourhood? Vera. <laughs> That's not by choice. Well, I don't care. Look, I don't care what you say. Them men came with guns, didn't they? All because of him and that family. 
Any one of us could have been shot, you know. And the kiddies. Rich, coming from you, Vera. Nelson's didn't go looking for trouble. Trouble came looking for them. Hey, you wish you could say the same about your cherry, eh? Well, he could come in carrying flowers. Excuse me. Or dressed in a white coat. We have security. Well, he could have had to come in the flowers and then... Craig. Look, they have um, monitors above the doors, love, and they'd set the alarms off and bleep. Well, all the same, do you think I should tell him? I think that's why he's here. Look, let him do his job and uh, we'll do ours. You worry about your dad and your sister. Mrs Nelson. William Gerald, consultant. At last. Sorry about the wait. We've taken your daughter down to the medical assessment ward. She was ketotic when she arrived. We put her on an insulin drip and fluids to stabilise her levels. You can see her any time. But she's going to be OK. She should be. We'd hope to see an improvement in the next few hours. If all goes well, she could be fit to go home tomorrow. <sighs> we had to take your husband down for an X-ray and an arteriogram. That's why there was a delay. We needed to check the location of the bullet. Um, excuse me a minute, Doctor. Craig, I bet he's parched. Go and get him a drink out of that machine, will you? Get us one and all. Come on. What is it? We were concerned that the bullet could have severed an artery. It hasn't, but it's lying very close. And? Well, the fear is during surgery an artery could be damaged. Would he die? There's always a risk with any surgery, no matter how small. His injuries aren't life-threatening at the moment. Um, doctor, will you be performing the operation? Um, just um, to be careful with him. Oh, of course. I thought I told you to turn that down. I can't reach! Don't get it, yourself, Hey, and while you're down there, turn it over, because the gardening might be on. Gardening, you! Mum, have you seen me watch? Well, you must have taken it off when you were scrubbing the kitchen floor. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, new shirt. No, it's uh, last year's this. Oh. Well, uh, you have to shave, so who's the lucky girl then? No one, I'm just going out for a drink with a couple of mates. Oh, why don't you take Steve? Go on, leave me in peace to watch the new telly. Well, it's not really Steve's sort of thing. Oh, and how do you know what Steve's thing is? Exactly. We seem to have the same taste in aftershave, don't we? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought it was our Todd's. Right, don't wait up. He's just over there. Damn. What are you doing? Looking for me books. Where's all my stuff? What stuff? You don't need stuff to settle. Where's our Craig? He's talking to that copper outside. Tommy, you're getting yourself in the lather. Wouldn't you? They won't send you down to surgery in this state. I'm not going through all this again, Ange. I'll get a gun of my own next time. Don't say that. All this turn the other cheek rubbish. I'll show them what it's like to be terrorised. I don't care anymore. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I wanted to show them. They think we're no. They think I'm only half a man. Well, they're wrong. If this stops now. Half a man. You. Uh, wait, wait, and then if you stuck back up. What a nose off. Is that the lager you're asking about? Barrel's back on. Uh, I'll have two pints of that as well, please. I could tell it had slipped your mind. Didn't take me a second. Oh, thanks, Mum. Well, as a duty, it does weigh very heavily on, on one's shoulders. Come and meet the 12th angry man. Norris has just got his dates through for jury service. That's the first bit of good news I've had all day. Oh, thank you. You see, not everybody mocks. Mocks? What? Remember, if he says he's a first-time burglar, it's only because it's the first time he's been caught. There'll be 50 other offences he's not cracked on about. 50 lives blighted. I intend to judge every case on its merits. Condemning a little more and understanding a little less. Paying close attention to the evidence. I want no miscarriages of justice on my conscience. Tommy Nelson, for instance? I seem to remember you were of the Hangam and Flogham Brigade. Blimey. So the old family's been living a lie since the day they moved in. It's amazing. When did you find out? Ah, so point. I don't suppose you've been in work tonight, have you, Martin? No. Well, the old Tommy was getting on. Well, not heard, have I? I suppose he's not getting to be alive, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, we all are, considering. I was just about to clear them, Bev. Oh, ignore me. Shelley will tell you I'm happier mucking in than sat twiddling my thumbs. Some folk are doers, some are talkers. Uh, some are just plain stirrers. 
Come in. Set up. Oh, cheers. Hiya. Didn't know if he's a red or a white. Oh, have you brought both? No, I was, um, gonna go round to the office. Don't talk, Daft. There's ale for dogs. Come on, sit down, sit down. Nice one. Um, uh, I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. For you. No, it's only on the corner. Just have a look what you want and I'll phone it through. Oh, right. You did a good job today, covering up. I saw your face when it all kicked off next door. You were freaked. Couldn't help it. it made me think of Richard. Hey, don't. He's gone. No one's gonna hurt you now. So, come on. Now it's all over, what did you reckon to be being here? Oh, don't say that. What? Now it's all over. It's gonna be a long time before your mum goes on holiday again. Yeah. Or oh, mine. I thought you'd get on my nerves. Cheers. Oh, you know, slobbing around, singing in the shower, leaving smelly socks everywhere. And uh, I thought you'd get fed up a Beth. I thought I would. I didn't expect it to be such a laugh all the time. It has, hasn't it? I wish she wasn't coming home. I know that's a terrible thing to say about your mum, but I just wish it was the three of us. Well, at least until you go to Oxford. Don't talk about Oxford, eh? Oh, don't talk about Oxford. Don't talk about my mum coming home. Don't talk about Richard. What can I talk about? Me? I'm pretty interesting. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, green would never your colour, were it? Cruel world, innit? How are you feeling, love? Top of the world, Ma. I could lose the use of it, you know. I'll face that when we come to it. There must be grants for one-arm mechanics. Is there any word on the one that got away? Was it Nick? Andy. Yeah. It's all sorted, I'll tell you later. That's me. Give us a kiss then. Love you, Dad. It's serious, isn't it? <laughs> He's not said that to me for years. About him, and he used to hang around with Tyrone and Kirk. Well, you would then, wouldn't you? <laughs> Daft as brushes the pair of them, but they were good natured lads. You don't seem to see him anymore. Got fed up with him bumming off them, I suppose. I mean, they work hard for their money. Well, maybe he was sick of them. Yeah, he's got big ideas, certainly. Well, there's no wrong with that. If you can afford to pay for him. Oh, maybe I'm too hard on him. I just don't want him falling in with a bad crowd. Well, he's sensible enough. Besides, he's too much of a poser to get in any serious trouble. That ruffle his hair. I suppose you're right. Mm. Well, I was a bit mad myself in my youth. Oh, Randy, we like your Todd. Not as clever, but uni material all the same. No one would have thought we'd ended up like we did. Ah, oh, Randy. Still living like a student in a dodgy flat in Barcelona. Teaching English as a foreign language. And me, Mr. Respectable. Owning his own business. Legit. Paying tax. That. Mortgage. Chucked out of his own home, scraping by, keeping on a mate's couch. Thanks, Steve. You really reassured me. See, the thing is, Dad, she's never off me back. It's always do this, do that. Where's the money for this? Where's the money for that? You know, and now Steve's living with us. Oh, aye. Uh, do you mind? I've just shown an interest. Yeah, it's what kind of interest? Anyway, now he's there, stumping up for bed and board. Well, couch and board. Yeah, I bet. Dad, he's 20-odd. 28. Oh, toy boy. No, you're barking up the wrong tree there. Anyway, now he's there, I'm at the bottom of the food chain. You know, I'm that close from walking out. <laughs> no point in cutting off your nose to spite your face. Hey, had a word with that fella about a job. Yeah, and I bet he said forget it. Oh, you're a ray of sunshine today, aren't you? Well, he's letting me know this week. Yeah, so that means forget it. No way. Yeah, he owes me a favour. He'll find you something. I tell you, once the dosh starts rolling in, you'll have Eileen eating out of your hand. You want even him from working with you? Yeah. Hey, Dad, can I have a glass of samosa? I can't believe he didn't bring me out. Not even a magazine. All the stuff in here is for grannies. <laughs> Back to yourself, then. What do you reckon that's about? Guess. We're gonna have to move again, aren't we? What? They've caught Andy Morgan. 
Picked him up speeding on the woodhead pass in a stolen car. <laughs> Idiot. Well, that's good, isn't it? They're going down a long time for this, you know. Yeah, at least we're safe. So we don't have to move again? No, ma'am. I'm sorry. What were you sorry for? <laughs> I'm sorry I shouldn't be crying in front of you two, but I just don't know whether I can cope any longer. You said Dom was going to be fine. He is, love. You hope, but you don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether they can save the arm. I don't know whether we can stop round here. I just don't know if I can carry on anymore. I'm really sorry. I promised myself I'd be strong. And you are. What have we done to deserve this? I just don't understand.